old Oakleys. Today's ride is just um, uh, a hill specific session. We're going out to uh, Ponte Dawi near Swansea. And we're going to do this like viciously, viciously steep climb, which I've got the verb on here, which hopefully I can try and get some of the climb on footage. Although I'm guessing I'm going to be over the bars the whole time. So I, I don't know how it's going to come out, but it's probably going to be facing down quite a lot. Um, so we're doing like four or five minute climbs today, four or five minute climbs today, um, with various like rest intervals in between. All of them are different climbs and they're different kind of terrain. So I'll explain on my overlay, um, my power overlay, I'm going to do like a, a proper analysis of this climb, hopefully. And I'll explain to you what's coming up at the end of the week and explain to you like why I'm using these different climbs of different lengths and different gradients to mix it up because I'm not really training specifically at the minute. It's more like just enjoyment because it's a, you know, it's a good mix up of stuff. Uh, you can keep track of it really easily. So uh, yeah, let's get to the overlay. Okay, so here we are uh, approaching the climb. Uh, yeah, that was one last wipe of the camera because it was pretty wet out today. Like, it was really greasy on the roads. Uh, it wasn't raining, but it was really damp from, like, the night before. It probably wasn't the best time to um, to hit this climb, to be honest. So, here we are on the left. Uh, as you can see, we've got all the data on the right-hand side. Ignore the elevation because it went berserk with the rain. Uh, Garmin tends to do that. So this is where the climb starts. On the left, as you can see, a lovely car getting in the way. So we started the climb, and immediately you can see the power going up. Now, I wasn't going flat out there, as you'd expect. Um, it's a long way to go. Uh, this climb is actually, um, I think it's on Strava, it's 1K exactly. And it says it's 19.9%, but it does flatten out in some places, especially over the top. Uh, and one little middle section that we're coming up to in about two minutes time, uh, which is a fair way away. Um, there's two little hairpins, uh, both of which were covered in leaves, as you can see here. Um, so there wasn't much I could do about that, trying to get some grip where I could. Uh, that drain there definitely didn't help. Um... But yeah, the the what I wanted to talk about was um, my training for the for the hill climbs, and what what we have been doing. So the last month or so, you could label hill climb season. Um, we've been working on kind of my VO two max and my anaerobic uh, threshold. So anything kind of between uh, one minute to five minutes, uh, if you like. And on occasion, we've been working um, to eight-minute intervals as well. Um, but uh, that's on the very rare occasion. Um, but recently, uh, I asked uh, Tim Kennick, my coach uh, from TK Coaching, as a lot of you uh, have heard of him. Um, I asked him to, to switch the training up and let me do my own thing because, you know, it's getting to the time of year now where, you know, I think a lot of pros are starting to fatigue both mentally and physically I really wanted something different and Strava is a really good way I think of achieving something different and I'm not one for taking it massively seriously but the way it's laid out you know with all the climbs the KOMs it's very easy to keep yourself motivated and that's not to say that I go out and target things um, but it gives me a mental uh, edge to get out there especially on a day like today as you can see it was crummy weather and oh like here's another hairpin and it's covered in leaves it was pretty dangerous it was pretty dangerous like it was getting to the point you know because i hit it so hard at the bottom i'll be honest with you my arm strength was starting to to tire massively and with this moss in the middle of the lane it made it like really difficult to keep it in a straight line and my back wheels slip in and you know there's no real tips i can give you for but you've just got to hang on. You've just got to, you know, try and keep that bike under control and stop it from wobbling all over the place. Um, you know, that's the the best advice I can give you, really, because, you know, once you commit to something like that, you've just got to keep going and go for it. You know, because this climb, like I said, hardly let up for four minutes, so you've really got to be on it the whole way. And to be honest, I don't think I sat down for like three and a half minutes, so it was a real wear and tear grind. Um, 
so yeah my training at the minute is just going out and enjoying and if I hit you know some climbs that I like in particularly and they give me an edge and they give me some form of different training you know I'll hit them pretty hard I won't hit them flat out but it'll be more like I say a VO2 effort where I'm sitting at around 400 or 430 watts which is the sweet spot for me when I'm hill climbing at the minute uh, and I'm feeling really good at the weight that I am so that's what I'm aiming at um, and you know mixing it up on the climbs so I'm finding climbs that are you know roughly the same time uh, you know they're all three to five minutes and then doing them at that intensity but finding ones that kind of don't just go up constantly ones that are changing gradient ones that are flattering off like this one now I'm going up to 20k an hour flattens off apologies for the <laughs> for the shaky camera because it, it was terrible road surface um so I like to do that because it keeps it more interesting and it keeps it more fun and then uh, you know it's good because I explained in a previous video the torque that you get, the changes in torque, you've got to be able to put the same power out on the steep stuff as the flat stuff and also the downhill because this weekend we've got a hill climb, more coming up on that, um, that has a downhill in it, a very very slight downhill but nonetheless you've still got to be capable of holding on the power. So that's pretty much it, you know, this is a bit of a catch up video if I'm honest, just telling you where I am, what I'm doing, and there's no better way than doing a little bit of a commentary behind this, this segment for you, just to keep you informed of what's going on. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, I could probably do more of it, although after this weekend, that's going to be the end of my season, and speaking of that, this is probably the end of this climb. Yeah, it is. So that is that, and we're probably going to catch you either this weekend on the vlog or possibly before then.